Welcome, Achievers. Welcome back to your Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast for the week of February 24th. Almost the end. 2022. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting with me today, of course, as always. Alex, what are you, what are you doing? Achievers. I can't stop playing Horizon. Oh, my God. <clears throat> this man... I got him to play Destiny Achievers. You know how happy that made me. Yep. This man beats it legendary solo, basically. He needed a little help, but basically so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some parts I'm like, oh my god. Please <laughs> so he beats and that, and then... You, you wake up to a text <laughs> of that, by the way. Yeah, I did. I did. That was hilarious. <laughs> um, and then he goes back to Horizon. He hasn't stopped. He hasn't stopped. I get I, it. I get it. I've yeah. also hit a point look, on Horizon where it's just look, it's man, too I'm damn good. I'm trying to play as much as I can, because Elden Ring comes out... Tomorrow. Every day, so. Tomorrow. So, so I am like... Jeez. I'm screwed. Yeah, Achievers, <laughs> we're we're at Hell's Gate. And as soon as it opens, it's, it it begins. I'm upset because I feel like either I'm in a bug or I just can't find someone, and I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> On that note, Achievers, thank All you so right, much I'm for applause. dialing in to this episode of these Achievers Game Plus, guys. Episode oh. one oh nine. I'm gonna say mm -hmm. might be one oh eight, but I'm pretty sure it's one oh nine. Thank you so much for joining us today. We are sitting pretty on February 24th. Reminders, free feeds. Give us help with that algorithm so you can like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend. If you're on a podcast service, remember five-star reviews. Spotify now does five-star reviews. Give us a five-star. That also helps the algorithm there. That serves us up to more people. That gives the achievers more friends. Alex, mm. I usually ask a question here, but before we get into that... I want to be very clear about something very quick. Um, this morning, <clears throat> I believe it was mm -hmm. in about 5 a.m., Russia has invaded Ukraine. So all okay. of our hearts go out, of course, to everyone in Ukraine. Stay safe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you can, get out of there. Um, <laughs> I want to... Uh, it's a big deal. Yeah. So let's bullshit about games, because that's a very serious thing that's happening right now. Uh, and I want to be very clear that all listeners in Ukraine and the surrounding areas, we're thinking about you. Now, do a nice segue into the show that isn't awkward at all. Alex, mm -hmm. every week I ask you one singular question, one single question, and it's always the same one. What have you been playing? Um, so we did, you mentioned it a little bit earlier, I, I jumped on Destiny because of you. Yes! We played, we played Witch Queen. Yes, we did. We played on and off co-op. First off, commend to them. Drop in, mm -hmm. drop out co-op. The smoothest thing, I think, in any game I've ever played. Um, you just go mm -hmm. in and you, you, you leave if you want. Like, it's very fun. There were times yeah. where I jumped in, helped you with a single boss, and then left. Really good. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, hey, I need I need help with this boss real quick. Can you come get me? And yeah. I and you were like, yeah, sure. And then it did it, and then you left. And I was like, cool, I'm going to continue what I was doing. Uh, so, and that was very fun. Legendary campaign, not easy, but not as hard as I thought. No, it's but definitely I, not Halo 3 legendary no, difficulty. No, see, that's what I was thinking we were getting almost. I was like, are they mm -hmm. going back to, like, Halo 3 difficulty with this? And they're not. It is definitely approachable to some people. Not everyone, yep. but some people. Um, I would say a good majority of people can take on with Legendary Witch Queen. And we did it first go. Um, Alex, very quickly, uh, we talk, I talk about Destiny way too much, but what, do you, what did you think? You're a lapsed player, right? You play on and off. There's yep. some seasons you play, some seasons you don't. So you're kind of yep. the, I would say, the most common Destiny 2 player. You're, you're someone that picks it up when there's cool stuff happening. What mm. did you think? I really, I mean, I really enjoyed it. I didn't know really much about uh, the character Savathun. Yeah. And I was like, it gave me so much background about what was happening and doing everything and playing and it, and, have, and going to her area and all that stuff. I'm like, whoa, this gives me this type of feels mm. and I'm really enjoying this. I mm. love the guns. So far, I haven't gotten the armor set, armor set yet. Yes, you have but. to get that um, through... Uh, no spoilers, but a, a different, a different fit. Anyway, you have to get it through fish. Yeah. yeah, so I haven't done that yet, but like <clears throat> I, I beat the main story because I wanted 
to be able to have that completed so now i can work on my other character yeah and i mean so far i mean i i enjoyed it i honestly is probably one of my either the my favorite or one of my favorite campaigns in destiny i think easily my favorite um yeah the only thing that kind of comes close is i would say red war which is what destiny 2 started with that was pretty good but it in my opinion, does not hold a candle to this. Um, mm-hmm. Honestly, I'm a, a, if I'm kind of excited for the raid. Yeah, really. I want to see what the new raid's gonna be. Yeah, me too. I can't wait. We're gonna try day one with uh, me mm-hmm. and my clanmates, and we'll, I'll report back on my experiences. I am very curious what it's gonna be. We know where it is, but that could mean so many different things. So I'm excited to see what mm-hmm. it is. Excited to see the the bit the boss. Um, Curious what the guns will be. I think you could see them in the game, but of course, I'm sure not everything has been revealed. So, yeah, we shall see. Uh, really quick, I'll give my impressions. Um, I echo everything Alex said. It was great. I love learning more about the hive. Love learning more about Savathun. The story finally revealed. Pretty much, Destiny 2's end game boss will be probably. Um, I won't spoil things, but that was very cool. That's probably who we will face mm-hmm. in the penultimate Destiny 2 fight um, yep. when the last expansion comes out. I mean, I'm very excited to play more of Destiny 2. That, 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 beating the campaign was the beginning. Now I got to grind up no, to power sure, yeah. levels. Now that, we got, now we got that out of the way. So uh, yeah. now, and we're pretty, you know, we're, it's, we're pretty up there now yeah. Now that we beat the game on uh, the campaign on Legendary. We, yes. have, a, we have a little... Our power level is a little a little higher. Yeah, I think I'm fifteen thirty five. So like I'm I'm oh yeah I'm yeah I'm flying through these things, flying through them. Oh yeah, yep. I'm that's what I'm trying to do with Horizon. I'm trying to fly through it and enjoy it at the same time, which I have been every second. Mm-hmm. So then I could go play Elden. You brought Ring. up Horizon. The next game we're going to be talking about now. My um, uh, I was actually invited on to Players Club with Emmett, so I'll be doing that achiever. So go over to cool. their channel. I will have my full thoughts of my uh, horizon playthrough there but surface level very good yep. i mean jesus it's good alex i mean i, I, I love can't it stop playing the, the game already yeah 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 i agree i yeah almost every element they've improved on now there have been some bugs that make me want to break my controller in half <laughs> but aside from that they're pretty good there's been two patches already so um the bug that i was facing uh, was quickly ameliorated, I believe, because I can. It works now. The, it was a bug where you couldn't drop from ledges, and it, it okay. seems to be working now. So I, I should be good. Uh, and I had, I, I don't know, Alex. You said you didn't, but I switched some keybinds around because it was annoying me. So I had to, I had switched crouch and dash mm. or dodge, I guess. Um, yeah. To because because my reflexes were off, so I like I gotta change this. So yeah. I changed those and two, see- and then I changed um, drop from a ledge or no, sorry, jump from a ledge. A square because having jump from a ledge and drop from a ledge on the same button not a great idea so i switched yeah. those two gotcha yeah i i had the the dodge and crouch that on default and then i switched it and i had to switch it back because i it's this it is felt, all preference yeah, it did preference. it did feel weird because yeah. like i've been playing a lot of games lately where dash is circle, circle or b yeah. mm-hmm and I was just like, it was just, it felt more natural. So like, especially like, you know, I play, I've played so many Dark Souls games. I just recently played Nier and um, I forgot what, there was another, I think it was God of War. I think mm. I have Circle as uh, Dodge. Yeah. And it was just, I was just, I was like, oh, I'm going to leave it at Circle and Elder Rings about to come out. I might as well just keep the fluidity going. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So. But so far, oh, such a yeah, beautiful no game. No spoilers, uh, Achievers. Please play the game. Very good. Uh, I, I can't recommend enough. Our full review, like always, and spoiler cast will be in about probably a week or so. Give us some mm-hmm. time because Jesus, these games, so many games. But we're gonna we're gonna try to get it as soon as we can. Very excited to play the rest of this game and to see where it goes. Because I hit a part where Alex referenced to me that. Uh, that he brought up like yeah this is a big deal that happens like pretty early moment. in the game and yeah. i was like okay and i hit that part and i was like okay well <laughs> whoa whoa <laughs> what is this so i'm excited to mm-hmm. keep trudging on because i want to i want to know more about that that is one of the most intriguing things especially what yeah. they have on achievers mm-hmm. you know what i'm it's talking just crazy about but like you get what is any wow of that actor multiple times already i'm very excited i'm very yeah. excited alex hmm. rumor roundups next up 
Dragon Age 2 is reportedly still a ways off. This is from Jeff Grubb. Saying the game is still 18 months away. So this is just reports that he's hearing from inside. Game is still pretty far off. I'm not surprised. But I am disheartened. Because they've been sitting on this game for a while now. So I was kind of hoping we would get it this year. But definitely not going to happen. So we will hopefully see it next year. If not, I guess we'll see you in 2024, Dragon Age. Jesus Christ. Bioware. <laughs> get it together. Fallout New Vegas 2 reportedly is in, quote, very early talks at Microsoft, end quote. So this is another Ooh. Jeff Grubb. He's in this He's in this every single week with a different thing he's saying and he's hearing. He's out there, man. Yes, man. I love I love him because no one chats like he does. Mm-hmm. No one does. Ever, no one ever talks like he does because most people talk in, like, cryptic things Cri- and stuff yeah, like that. Jeff, Jeff Grubb says, I heard we'll this. We'll see. <laughs> I heard, I, I, say, I hear this. I did that. And I like that because no one else does that. No one. God. And we it's finally have someone that's chatty. Yes, it has been. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, apparently uh, Fa- Fallout New Vegas 2 is in early talks. Now, this means nothing because early talks can very much lead to nothing. But yeah. this will give some New Vegas fan out there some hope that one day, maybe, you'll get some game. Hey, I'm right there. We get, I'm waiting uh, for it. Very, um, I'm curious if they're going to ask Subsidian to make it. Cause, I mean, because that's who made Fall in Vegas. So, like, you, yeah, you yeah. ask them, can you make a second one? I wonder if they would do it because they're making. I wonder it out if, now. So, I just I wonder if they can even reuse any of their old resources because how old it is. No. Yeah, You'd I have to make a whole not, new right? engine, right? Or yeah. or you get Unreal, which I would just get Unreal, but that's costly because you got to pay Unreal and things like that. Mm-hmm. But I would because yeah. fuck making your own engine unless you plan on somehow using that in the new Fallout game, which. Whenever we get a new Fallout game, that'll be awesome. Uh, maybe in 10 years we'll get that. Maybe. That's all the rumor around about. So we have the actual news for the week coming up. This is a big deal. In two different fronts, in my opinion. So let's start it off. Seems we have some information on 20... Uh, on th- and this year's Call of Duty title. And this is reportedly, of course, Modern Warfare 2, if you've been keeping track with the Achievers. The info is that it has maybe been a delayed. This is according to Jason Schreier at Bloomberg, and this is a direct quote from his article. Quote, the company is pushing off the release after a recent entry in the series failed to meet expectations, leading some executives to believe that they're introducing new versions too rapidly. Quote, the decision apparently has nothing to do with the Microsoft purchase, apparently. I don't believe that, but apparently it does. A surprising turn through Activision themselves have denied these claims. They have directly said no to these claims. And this is the quote they gave. Quote, we have an exciting slate of premium and free-to-play Call of Duty experiences for the year, next year, and beyond. Reports of anything else are incorrect. We look forward to sharing more details when the time is right. End quote. Before we jump into that, Alex quickly to end this it's reported that they will be shifting to other projects to fill the void of the missing cod there apparently may be a free-to-play title in the works from treyarch that is set to release in 2023 minus what treyarch would normally be working on which is another call of duty um and then there will also be a replacement cod this fall that will receive multiple content updates again maybe free to play maybe discounted something who knows alex a lot of information we have an accusation, sort similar, kind of, you know, not really an accusation. We have a statement from Jason Schreier saying he has heard that it's delayed. We have Activision themselves saying, no, that is incorrect. What do you think? This is very complicated, of course. Achievers, very quickly, I would like to tell all the achievers out there, this person who has made a statement is a PR person, not necessarily in the know. And these are top-level executives reportedly saying this. So maybe it just hasn't reached a PR person. And it's technically PR's job to make everything look nice and pretty. So this could be complete made-up. This could be based in fact. We just don't know. Depends on how deep that PR person knows. Mm. Uh, PR is going to lie if they need to. So I don't know if we trust this or not. It's fair. It's, it's, we're in an interesting spot, Alex. What do you think? I mean, I hope that they do take the next year Call of Duty off. Because, I mean, mind you... We're still getting one this year. Yeah. So, I mean... Oh, so whatever this getting, project is. Yeah. It was very yeah, vague what, on what it was. Yeah, we're still getting one this year. So, maybe... Um, I hope they take a break next year. 
And then, I mean, they're like, no, that's not happening. I'm wondering if it's because maybe they'll work on more on Warzone or some other project just to be like, oh, it's not really, you know, gone. We'll just come out. We'll just have a new... Ex- like, we have you know, a new Call of Duty Lite. Like, oh, this is an upgrade for Warzone. And this is like... Yeah. A- a, a mini campaign where it's like five hours, but it's only ten dollars or something like that. Well, I mean, is was Warzone ever beefed up to next gen, or is it still no. playing on? No, right? Yeah, there has I not been a next gen update to Warzone. If you want to double check the, that, it has not. Because if you remember correctly, I don't the think report, so. There's three projects currently in the work: the Treyarch game, the, the whatever this fall title is, and if this is to be believed. Modern Warfare 2 being delayed. Now, those are three mm-hmm. projects currently in the works. And one of those also included the Warzone 2 update that would bring in a bunch of upgrades from PS5, Series X, and things like that. So, Series X did get a bump, but, but PS5 did not. But is it, but is it a... Is it's it what we're talking boost. about, though? Okay, so it's just... It's, a, but just that, though. I, yeah. Okay, so it's just... So, oh, it's, uh, so it has so not yeah, had an overhaul of, by any means. Something like... Since we were talking about it earlier, Destiny Two, for instance, Destiny Two has a overhaul experience on a new system. Let's see. So, Let's like, in my in my picturing of Warzone, it has not been upgraded like substantially. It it got a small mm-hmm. performance boost, but that's about it. Um, actually, it's saying that the performance boost was a big boost. Uh, it says that Microsoft's new console is the only one that received the boost to 120 FPS, although testing shows that the game usually hits somewhere between 100 to 120. So the Warzone next gen is on Xbox, but PS5 did not I, get Okay, one. yeah, but I, but I stick by the, my point. That is not an overhaul. That is not an upgrade. You have made the game 120 frames. That is it. You have not redone any graphics. You have not detailed any imaging. You yeah. have not included any no, yeah. sort of enhancements to literally I mean, anything else. It's I mean, just faster you, frames. What else can you change, I guess? No, nah, you can you can go in and on your Series X you can maybe run the game faster, you can load in faster. You yeah. can there like the the it's fresh in my mind. I hate to bring it up again, but Destiny 2, if you play a Series X game and you play it on Xbox One, those are completely different experiences. You're going yeah. to load in faster, you're going to uh play the level quicker there's a bunch of other things versus your frames are faster this is the problem hdr with call of duty. things things of these and this so. is the problem with call of duty i feel like it's they, it's it's just been the same for so many years like i feel like call of duty two three years ago looks the same now i mean it's just it's like i feel like they just need us like i'm hoping we get that break to hit devil's advocate here alex doesn't seem that anyone cares. People keep buying it. So why yeah, why would true. they may why would they change? You know what I mean? No, I yeah. of course am right there with you. I do think they maybe take a year off and they really sit down and look at their studios mm-hmm. and go, okay, let's make a plan and let's stick to it. Because it yeah. does seem like they're having issues. Yeah, I feel it, like it all started <laughs> with Black Ops Three. Yeah, it looks like they're just like, okay, here's Call of Duty. Let's put another Fortnite skin over it. <laughs> Boom. There but you go. Next game. I, I, did, I do feel like this started with Black Ops 3 when they missed their campaign. I feel like mm-hmm. we were, we're, they were doing pretty good on Call of Duties. Like They all felt pretty full. They all had a lot of content. But mm-hmm. when Black Ops 3 hit and they didn't have that campaign, I feel like That's every other Call of Duty down. now is like kind of like behind a little bit. Yeah. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know if that's just me thinking that there's something there and it's not, but I, I feel like that's almost the turning point where like Black Ops 3 released and like everything else started Do having you, some sort of issue, minus maybe Modern Warfare. I feel like there's too many studios that make Call of Duty now. Mm. Like neither, I mean, I'm it's, sure it's hard it, to. It used to be just Activision on, and Treyarch. I just, I mean, I just feel like they're, I mean, there's and Activision, Infinity Treyarch, Infin- or yeah. Infinity War was there uh, at the beginning. Infinity War is what I meant. Infinity War and Treyarch were the, the, the two. That was the two. Then they had Sledgehammer. Yeah. Now, yeah, they, now they have Sledgehammer. Raven. Now they brought in then Raven. Brought, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, it, there's so, there's maybe, too it's, many. maybe it's too many cooks. You know, Maybe there's too many people involved in the project, and it's just a yeah. mess. I would love to see how managed it is and how well it is. Apparently, there's clearly an issue somewhere. Um, I mean, Jesus. Warzone is, I think, first. still broken. I haven't played yeah, it. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. 
I last time I played it, it was broken to where I couldn't even play the game yeah. on a Series X. Yeah. So, so apparently that's still it on fire. Wh- who knows what's going on with that? Yeah, and we'll have to see. But I'm glad. I'm I'm hoping. I'm hoping yeah, they take that break. Just because I mean, I just. I mean, I don't see. I've. When was the last time I bought a Call of Duty game? I mean, in some way, I've either I've I've played them, but I have not bought them myself, and yeah. I have had no encourage to do so. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. I get it. I. I also hope that they take a break off, but I can't imagine a fall without a Call of Duty. It's so strange. I mean, it's they've been there every fall, really, since I've fucking been alive almost so yeah, shit. so uh it's time well yeah we'll see i mean what we'll, we'll have to see can't wait yeah yeah i can't wait i would i would i kind of want them to delay it just because i want to see like how people react other companies and like oh we don't have a call of duty maybe we push a project up to try and take in that void who knows but it's 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 almost like like an actual season like you know like you could bet on call of duty coming out mm-hmm. anyways we got to look at psvr2 now we're still waiting on a release date and price tag on all of this. We have even more details on the PSVR 2. They showed both the headset and the controller all at once, all together in its glorious white goodiness. For audio listeners, the controllers are very similar to the Quest 2s. Um, the only thing is they seem a lot more spherical, 360 circle thing kind of going on. Um, as well as the actual headset, albeit still does look kind of like the first VR system. Uh, the first PlayStation VR. Uh, everything is still adjustable. Everything is where you left it. The knob is still in the back. The button is still there for the headset. And the VR it still has the scope dial, headphone jack. Apparently, there's also a feature with a built-in motor. And there's a new vent inside the headset to avoid fog buildup on your lenses. All that being said, the actual headset still looks pretty familiar. If you saw the PSVR 2 and you put the Oculus Quest 2 together, it looks kind of like this. And then the new Sense controllers still do look very nice. But we still need to know a price tag. Alex... To tell me this, am I gonna buy this thing without knowing the price? Like it's gonna be like some sort of backroom deal. I go to I go to like a GameStop or a Walmart, and I'm like, "You guys got VR two? And they're like, "I'll see you in the back." And then, then they like push it towards, and then like, "All right, give me." And it's just like six hundred dollars. And you're like, "Fuck, all right, there you go." And I take it and I run. I'm gonna I'm gonna punch myself in the face, but I probably will do it still. <laughs> if, 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 if this will be more than the system itself. I'm Yeah, I'm probably still going to buy it because I'm that guy. I don't think it will be. But, but I'm just bringing it up as yeah. like a, 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 a outrageous example. I don't think it will be, but it's going to be expensive. Yeah. I feel like I, I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised that it will be the same price as the system, but it's, it's outrageous. Achievers, if you're on YouTube, I'm going to quickly Show you a little image of the VR2. Look great. I apologize. <laughs> but there you go. That's yep. what it looks like. Yeah. So if anything, it looks like, like you said, like the Quest, and it a little mixed with the Vive because the Vive, I think it, the Vive is the one that has the little circles. Yes. I and these look very are. nice. Yeah, it's meant to. I think the camera is looking where you are, so it, it mm-hmm. can. Um, I think the Quest Two has a see-through mode where, like, you hit it and the cameras activate and you see around you. So that's probably I like the cushions like all it's not just in the front it's like all the way around. Yeah, it does look it looks, very, like it looks very nice. Where the where the single cable it, there. on the inside cam well on the inside of the uh where you see the lens, it looks like there's more room for people with glasses. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because in the last one, you know, it was a little hard to try to like you can you can make it work. But it wasn't but, comfortable. Uh, yeah, it was definitely because when you try to push it in, you're like, Oh, I could still see some light underneath because I can't push it all the way in. Mm-hmm. But Sh- show you this looks but funny yeah. on the <laughs> on YouTube, so give me a second to fix it. But there, there, and there, and that's the top image. It looks very nice. I mean, very yeah. padded, and I'm gonna say it again: looks premium. Bust out the yeah. wallets, people. This thing's gonna be four hundred. But it looks yeah. very nice. Oh, yeah, I, I can't, I can't wait to play with this thing. I, I want an mm-hmm. excuse to bust out a VR because I, I have my VR one, but Jesus, do I not want to plug that thing up? <laughs> Good lord, mine's plugged up, and I, I mean. And I was playing it a little bit, but then video games came out and I put it away. Yep. You kicked you <laughs> kicked it and just get out get out of here. Yep. I had just enough time to play Vader Immortal and I, and I and then I got and then I stopped. Alex, is it releasing this hmm. fall, do you think? There's a chance that it could, but I There's a chance. I, 
there I think there's yeah, I think it's honestly I think it's like sixty forty, maybe oh. even seventy thirty. Oh. On it yeah, going out or not? Or it coming out, yes. So okay, so I feel 60, like 70, will, I feel like out. Yeah, I feel like if we uh if we get some sort of conference this summer, I feel like they'll announce it then. Good intuition. I believe I, I agree. I think I think so too. I, I think it's a heavy chance, but again, they I don't think they, they want to it off now. All we're missing is price. And a release date. And release date. Yep. So I mean And they want to announce those things close together because they, they don't, are, want, they they don't yeah. want the price out there before the release date. <laughs> they yeah, don't want they the announce, <laughs> if anything, I figured I feel like they'll announce the release date. <laughs> Alex, First. if they do that and not tell I, you the price, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab my printer and eat it. I, I I'm gonna be very upset, but that's not gonna. Yeah, happen. You're gonna be they're, like, they're oh they're yeah, holiday 2022, four. All right, have a good one. <laughs> they just throw a smoke bomb and everyone's gone. Yep. <laughs> Nobody and, and it just says price is just X X dollar dollar <laughs> sign. <laughs> oh my god, I think I do think they're trying to avoid a PS5 situation where they don't have them out. Mm -hmm. uh, because they, the, you don't want either scenario happening. You don't want a PS5 situation where you cannot supply demand. Mm -hmm. And you also don't want this opposite where you supply too many and, and you exceed demand. Because, well, there's a lot of PS5s. But you also have to bet like who's going to spend another $400 on a VR system. So like you got to... like. <laughs> We, me, me, and you. I mean, like, out of the people who have PS5s, the yeah, attach yeah. rate. How, how yeah, good yeah, is it going to be? You know. So, I think they, I think they are being very careful with that because they do not want to send this thing. And there's six or seven sitting in a Walmart somewhere. They, they want, yeah. they want clean shelves, shelves. And I'll be very curious to see if they eat any costs because they eat. They're eating PS5 costs. They're, they, mm. they, they are not making very much money I mean, at are, all. I mean, aren't they uh, like almost like. broke even? They they break even essentially, but with the issues with shipping and all that, they're very much mm. not breaking even anymore. But if you okay. look into like shipping costs and what they've had to do to get PS5s out there, like they had to rent a plane to send them. Mm. You're not like a private plane, a giant cargo uh, ship to send PS5. So you're not making money off of those. I mean, yeah. I mean, I've, I don't know. Never mind. <laughs> Street Fighter Six was announced apparently. Oh, yeah. um, it was with a <laughs> so this is a really funny announcement so they announce the game they show off like Ryu like standing there against um, some other guy I always forget his name Alex if you could find that I'd appreciate it I just don't remember his name um, but it's a it's a pr pretty plain announcement like it's it just mist and gray all over the place and it's like Ryu like I'm gonna fight something and then it ends so and then we get a logo with Street Fighter 6 now it looks like an octagonal type shape, and it has SF in the middle with six in the bottom right corner of the logo. Now, Hex hexagonal. Hexagonal, thank you. I couldn't remember. Um, I don't have it in front of me. Everyone got really mad about that. They don't like what the logo looks like, which, I mean, I get, I get annoyed I feel at like weird stuff are, too, so I don't people, blame I feel them. Like people, I feel like people are not liking it because it's just too plain i guess so i am in, um, i mean in the I, biggest support of the people not liking the logo someone uh mm -hmm. tweeted out street fighter 4 and 5's logo and put them next mm -hmm. to this one and i was like that is a good point street fighter has very identifiable logos they have yeah. street fighter and they have some sort of crazy print over them you can look mm -hmm. up Super Street Fighter like 2 or Ultra Street Fighter or the Sigmas or all those crazy things. They all look kind of wild and looks kind of cool. And they chose the very plain corporate yeah, S Street Fighter look. So I, I don't know what's... been the red and, the red and yellow Street Fighter. Like, and this is just an SF. Yes, yeah, SF six? and six. I'm like, okay. I get I mean, it. It's trying to be different and revolutionary, it. but I. It looks, it looks like some sort of Apple shit where it's like, we're sleek. We're design. We, we, we're very like clean. Like, that's what it looks like. I'm like, what? But you're Street Fighter. It's supposed to be exaggerating and it's supposed to like be. Honestly, popping. when I saw this, I thought it was a Rainbow Six DLC. <laughs> Does kind of look like something like that it would be. So I do the get. Six, I do it get. exactly looks like a Rainbow Six uh, Siege. I get. Uh, I get. Uh, I get. Uh, I get uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and a quick and just a quick 
pin here. Mm. Um, Cap- Capcom Fighting Collection was announced as well for June 24th. Includes 10 games. Um, and they all have rollback netcode, which I think is really important for people who play fighting games. I don't know what that means, so I apologize for not. I th- It's important for online games. I know that. Um, let me look up. Alex, do you have the games in it by chance? Oh, uh, the I got you. Yeah, here. Trying to find it the is, really you're talking quick. about the Capcom Fighting Collection? I have them right here. So Vampire Savior 1, Vampire Savior 2, Darkstalkers, Night Warriors, Vampire Hunter 2, Cyberbots, Red Earth, Super Puzzle Fighter 2, Turbo, Hyper Street Fighter 2, Super Gem Fighter, Mini Max. I don't know any of those games, Alex. <laughs> We're not old enough, I don't think. I think if I wrote, not, I was never a Capcom if, fighting game. If person. I if I read that to my father, he would be freaking out. Like, my God, I remember this in a fucking arcade cabinet, and it was awesome. I love Cyberbots, but me, unfortunately, I have no idea what any of this is. I'm I I will play Hyper Street Fighter Two. I don't think I've ever played that one. I've I've played a lot of them, but I don't think I've played Hyper Dark Stalkers. I've heard is also just really fun. I will try that for sure. I will buy these just to because I like um, I like knowing games, you know. Mm-hmm. So I, I'll probably buy this collection just to be, say I've played these before. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, I, I don't know what any of these are. But congrats for everyone. I'm sure there's someone at home right now that's like, oh yes, Vampire Savior Two. Oh my god! Like so, you know, congrats. Watch that. Watch that be like the worst one out of all of us. <laughs> I just said that, and everyone's like. Yo, this guy likes this guy likes Vampire Savior. There's some Reddit out there like this guy likes Vampire Savior too. They're about, a, they're about to eat what you a fucking alive. Plebe. <laughs> yeah, they're about to eat you alive right now. <laughs> oh, Alex, mm. it was a pretty small news week. So I want to yeah, basically th- circle back to. I want I want this to be a little bit of Destiny Two talk, a little, and this is gonna be a little chiller. So this is the news for the week. The, the next half is just gonna be kind of us chilling. And we're just going to shoot the shit for a little bit, uh, Achievers, okay. so stick with us as we talk. Alex, first off, is there anything from this news story that you want to circle back to that we didn't talk about enough? And if there is not, let's talk some games. We've got Elden Ring tomorrow. It's been getting glowing reviews. We can talk about that, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, but I want you to tell me what you want to talk about. So... Hmm. Let's talk about Destiny. Okay. Talk about Destiny. Yeah, I'm sure you'll be happy about that. <laughs> Whatever. <clears throat> I want to, because I, I never uh, know too much about the raid stuff, so okay. enlighten me on that. Now, what do you want to know? More about when what the raid will be? When is the raid? Yes, and Next do we Saturday. know specifics? Is it is For people th- who haven't played the Witch Queen DLC, it's like there's the type of enemies like is it going to be the same enemy types as it, the campaign ones it looks like it and achievers skip ahead if you don't want raid spoilers but um it looks like it's going to be scorn okay. uh, is what we are guessing there's some mm. there's a lot of data mine stuff from the update that you could probably find online and you could probably learn a lot about the raid i think there's mm. like art you can look at so you can kind of figure out what the bosses are going to be um, I think you can already see the raid exotic, I'm pretty sure. Um, so you can already know what the exotic's going to be. You can see some of the guns in the actual crafting station, too. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot you can learn prior to this. Now, it does launch next Saturday. Very excited. The raids are pretty much the best part in Destiny, almost, to me. Um, mm-hmm. It's funny. Uh, uh, Bungie actually released the, uh, a year in review which is really cool. And they basically said, like, these are your most used guns and stuff. And this was, like, by playtime. And I think 36% of me playing Destiny is inside of a raid. So that's a big portion. So that tells you I play a lot of raids. So I'm very excited to play this raid. The Vow of the Disciple. Yes, that's what it's called. called. It's called the Vow of the Disciple. And who who knows what that means? I have some guesses on who the raid boss might be, but... We really just don't know. You, you can, you. I'm sure there's some lore person out there that probably can figure it out with a lot more concrete information. But me, I'm basically guessing okay. with like a little information I have. I'm very excited about this raid. Um, Whoa, what's up with this flaming head? I don't know what you're doing. Um, 
So I was just looking through an article about the raid. Yeah. And it's showing, of course, you know how it shows like the the, the fire team. Mm-hmm. The it looks like the Titan. It oh, looks that's like the new exotic. It, his helmet looks yeah. like it's like it has like some yeah some he has like, like wings fire, on the side like yeah there's like wings on the side that flame up yeah it's a it's it's a new exotic gotcha it, it, it pairs with the bottom tree of the sun warrior it's really cool like when you take damage um you'll summon like a little sun spot at your feet that will heal you it, it's apparently really good cool. I haven't tried it I have it I just yeah. haven't tried it yet yeah I want to get the I want to check I want to know what the the uh the raid um armor looks like because I always like those. Mm. Yeah, the raid they armor already. No. Okay. No, I think I think they're gonna either show it today. So, um, we have a twab for today. So either it's Whoa. shown. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh. <laughs> we have a twab for today, <laughs> stating um. Probably more raid information. Honestly, I don't know what it's gonna be about. Um, yeah. so so I, I maybe it's just an update on stuff, or it's like known issues or something. Um, because technically we have another twelve for next week before twop. the actual raid. <laughs> before Every time you say twelve, raid, I'm gonna do it before the actual raid comes out. So yeah. I assume the stuff will be waited for there. I think they usually show what the armor looks like before it launches. So I'm, I assume we're gonna see it either yeah. this twelve. Or next ah. time. <laughs> so I don't know, but I'm very excited. Raids are my favorite part. Like you got scared. <laughs> yeah, because I know it's coming. So I like, I'm, I like, I, I, my body is wincing. But yeah, I've, I've been mainlining this game more than any other game it's because I, first off, I just love it. Mm-hmm. Second, the gunplay is just so good. And third, the actual gameplay loop is addicting almost like i just can't stop fucking playing the game i don't know how else to say it. it's really fun i love yeah, no, like def- being up there yeah it definitely it is fun i have i, I am d- back to it i am enjoying it to quickly bring up an example hmm. uh we use discord in the clan to communicate with each other mm-hmm. and i i got like a <laughs> like like a a wake-up call is a strong word but i'm gonna say that with like people okay. still going through the campaign and i was like jesus i beat that two days ago already <laughs> like i can't believe like to me i'm like gee i gotta remind myself like i blew through this yeah so like people are still gonna be playing it like you know what i mean i know that sounds weird but it's like no like, i get it yeah i get it yeah I'm, i just forget that people don't eat this shit alive like yeah. i i i couldn't stop like i was yeah. like i have to beat this it was yeah. really fun. I liked it was I liked that it was challenging. It's, it it's been a while since like I mean really any campaign has been kind of challenging unless it's yeah. cuz like I like the sweet spot where I will die at some points. But I will get through it, you know? That's why I think I like Dark Souls so much. That's how that's how I felt with, with the certain areas that I was like, "Oh, I think I need you." But eventually I got through it. I was like, "Okay, it, it's it's hard." It's like and like you were just about to say Dark Souls. I was like, I've played Dark Souls. I think I could get through this. Thank you. Uh, that was my point too, where I was like, this is this campaign is not beating me. Like no, I no. like regardless of how hard it is, I've played a harder thing. So mm. I don't care. Celeste, I would say, was harder than that by a hey, long Halo shot. Halo 3's legendary. It was oh they got God. it done. Yeah. That's one of the I don't I don't say that's one of the hardest ones, but that is no, definitely no, a hard it's, one. It's difficult. Yeah, it's definitely a hard one. I don't even know what the hardest halo would be i don't know isn't it one of the newer ones isn't it like four i feel like it was four hardest halo legendary campaign the community i feel like i said i think it was four and it's because of specific place isn't it like near the beginning because it's like so hard to get past this i I feel like that's what i don't quite remember halo one wasn't that bad it was hard um but it wasn't that bad and also like you can kind of make all these a lot easier because you can I don't remember the name of it, but you can check. Halo 2. Halo 2. Halo 2's legendary difficulty is one of, if not the hardest first person shooter campaigns ever to exist. Is what it, is what it says, yeah. Uh, what at War was pretty insane on Veteran. So uh-huh. I, I, I kind of want to play that now. Um, Halo 2. I was saying, oh, yeah. War, War at War. 
Oh, Call of Duty, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, That that because you said FPS. So I was like, yeah, Modern yeah. Warfare was kind of hard in a dumb way because, like, I remember one specific part in War at War that makes me be like, I wonder mm. if it's hard in War at War because they just have infinite grenades and they just throw at you. I remember one part where you have to, like, stick with a tank. Mm-hmm. And I was like, just trying to live. And this is when I stopped doing it because I was like, this is, that's enough. At one point, there was no lie, 12 grenades. I counted them because I knew I was going to die. So I'm like, all right, whatever. There was 12 mm-hmm. grenades and they all had the grenade icon on my screen, like making a circle. And I was like, that's enough. And I just quit. I, I remember that like, like it was yesterday, uh, like during that little tank mission where you like to follow it. And I was like prone, like right behind the tank, like trying to like not fight as many people. And it was ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hey, it says that at, it, out of all the Halos ranked, Halo 2 is the hardest, the second hardest is Halo 1, and then Halo 3, and then Reach. So the newer ones are easier. Yeah, and then 5, ODST, 4. So 4 is actually the easiest one. Wow, okay. Well, I was wrong about that. Yeah, right? I would love to play Halo 2 on Legendary now, because that, that's almost like a challenge. I'm like, I do you? remember... I, I remember, oh my god, like it was fucking engraved in my brain. It's like one of the missions where you play, you start playing as Arbiter for the first time. And yes. You have to, and you have to yeah. go through the flood. Yeah. Through that area. Yep. Oh my god. I because remember. Because you start surrounded. It was freaking don't you? me out. Because, huh? Is that the mission where you start and there's enemies literally around you? I, I think so. It's like, a, I remember some, I think there was like a crash or something and you got to go into the facility. And I just remember there were so many. In, uh, flood with swords i just turned invisible and just ran half the time because it was just like there was so much th- so many things going on i was like i'm screwed i just need to get to a checkpoint <laughs> but i remember yeah well, that's one of the hardest missions in my opinion i would love to play play that now because yeah i think that's the one i'm missing i think i did four Is and f- maybe i did i don't think i did five so i think i need to do two there? Yeah. Legendary? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It'll probably be after Elden Ring. After all this. Yeah. 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 yeah after after this. this knoff, like, concaphony of games. Yeah. 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 For sure. I definitely want. I definitely want to try that because that that kind of gets me excited. I'm like, all right, yeah, I want to try mm-hmm. it now. Um, co-op does make it easier though. Halo is definitely a game where like, if you're having issues solo, play co-op because Jesus, it's way easier. Because uh, you can have one person just stay in the back. You can like scum it. Just have one person mm-hmm. stay in the back and have you constantly reviving. Yep, that's what we had to do. Yep, for Halo 1. I forget which mission, but like we had to like sit in the bag. I'm like, all right, you stay here. I'll run up. When I run out of ammo, we'll switch. Like, it's wild. Halo 1 had the overpowered Magnum, too. That thing was like the saving grace of that campaign because you could just two-tap like things like for no reason. Awesome. Oh, wow. So, um, because was, there's was, uh, the 20 hardest FPF games ever uh like ever made like right and it's like ranked by game rent number number two was halos 2's campaign <laughs> jesus <laughs> number one escape from tarkov i've heard that why it's difficult it has permadeath immense learning curve and survival elements yeah i've heard of Ooh. escape from tarkov is nuts yeah and then number three was quake three arena <laughs> that, that was hard <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's four? Call of Duty. Yeah, hey, Call of Duty, War at War. War at War was nonsense. It was yeah. nonsense. Because yeah. that had infinite enemies, too. Just like Modern Warfare did. I believe it was the first Modern Warfare and that one. Mm. And they stopped, I think, with two. If Did you Eternal did not hit nine. a checkpoint, they would mm-hmm. just keep spawning. And that made it way, way harder than it had to be. Because mm. you have to basically hope you're not about to get shot when you move up. So you like kill three people and you have to get to the next like little thing. Shoot three people, get to the next thing and hide. Mm-hmm. Like it's fucking some of these Jesus. games. I'm surprised it's actually on here on the, that they ranked. They they uh, ranked. What's like uh like it said number nine was Doom Eternal. Really? Yeah. On uh, hard, I'm sure that's really hard because that has permadeath. Oh, too. probably. Oh, that's true. That's true. That has Prey permadeath. was number thirteen. The new oh, wow. the new Prey. Uh, Bullet Storm. Remember that game? Yes, I did. That yeah. was a rough. I remember that no, number being sixteen. Rough. Yeah, I think I did. Wolfenstein it, two was number eighteen. And I was having issues on normal. Oh, no, this was I, hard. Yeah, yeah. Fear number nineteen. 
the very first fear. It says the, challenging A coupled with an oppressive atmosphere. If I remember correctly, that that was very stingy with ammo. So yeah, oh I, my god, I think I think that's why yeah. it was hard. I can't quite. I think that was why. I'm surprised they didn't rank any of the dead spaces because I feel like dead space was hard because you could only save a certain amount of time Three. on the hardest difficulty. Three yeah. times. It's not an FPS. I, oh, good point. Good yep. point. Third person. But yeah, that was a hard game. Yeah. I don't love, I'll be honest, I'm, not, I'm just not that guy. I don't love the permadeath, permadeath? slash nope. limited saves. I don't either. I, I, don't, I don't love that. So I no. usually do not mess with I, I get it because they're like, no, oh, it, it feels like, you know, you're actually, you know, if you die, you die. Well, no, it's an accomplishment. I get why you want yeah, I to I get do it. it. But it's a video game. Nah, I want to play the video game. <laughs> no, no, I'm good. But again, I get why people do it because you get to say you did it. I mean, hey, I get it. Like you, you yeah. get to say like, yeah, no, I beat that and I did not die, because I have I've done that in Destiny too. Look, and and the you know, of times you, I could say that I've played, I've beaten and played Dark Souls, I feel like that's an accomplishment in my. Yeah, like yeah, like, it's good enough. You did it. You played them again with a with a child. You could say that. Like I had a baby. <laughs> you fuck. <laughs> it's funny because I actually started playing it again a couple of weeks ago, and and my daughter was just looking at it, and I was just like. Please don't have nightmares of this. <laughs> yeah, because I was gonna play Bloodborne, and I'm, but I'm waiting for a remaster, man. It'll happen. <sighs> it probably won't happen for like them. two years though. So can't wait to play them. Plan uh, platinum that again. Mm -hmm. It's a great game. Great game. Alex, mm. what's the show for the week? I want to ask because I like to end the show just like how I began it with one single question. This question is, what do you have queued up? Now this is of course an Question for you and for the achievers out there, the ones listening to this very show right now. What do you have queued up? This, of course, can be a TV show, a video game, some sort of movie, or a book, a comic book, something, anything. What do you have planned for the weekend? What do you have queued up? I have two episodes left of The Expanse, and I am done. I have two. I am probably going to finish that today. Been like a month. You probably finished like the series. Yeah. Roughly the whole series, yeah, six seasons. I'm mad. I'm actually upset that season, the last season, season six, only has six episodes. It's shy, uh, like four episodes. And mm. I'm wondering if maybe they they did that on purpose, or did they get canceled, or they I don't know. I have to look it up. But um, they, it, all I've heard is that the way it ends, they've left it open for the future. If any, like any, if they ever want to make a movie or come back for one more season, come back or something. yeah, kind of like how Dexter did in a way. Yeah, they they did that very yeah. intentionally. Yeah, and then they but brought yeah. it back with a wild, dumb show. <laughs> wasn't that? It bad, was fine. It, it was, was fine. it wasn't that bad. I'm just being mean. It definitely fixed the problem with the last. It fixed the problem oh. and made a new one. Good for them. It takes skill. Yeah, that... It takes skill. <laughs> yeah, it takes that's skill true. to do that. It takes yeah. skill. Anyways, it's less of a problem, but anyway, yeah. <laughs> yeah, less. It's less of a jarring issue, but also. What was that? Why did that happen? Who is hey, that? Hey, so hey. annoying. Remember that? <laughs> anyway. Is he listening to the radio and he's happy? What is going on? I don't know. Anyway. um, Yeah, I'm going to do that. I need to catch up on Tech on Titan because I'm so behind. Me too. And then I haven't after even I'm started the new season. After that, I, you'll be, up, you'll be uh, happy that I will be starting or continuing my hero. I would see it. I would do it, with you, Alex. Because I'll, I'll be done with Attack on Titan fully. when I see it. Because uh, Attack on Titan has taken over like every season, anytime it comes out. But I've been so busy. I believe. And then, how about which one would you rather me watch first? My Hero or Young Justice? See, I feel now like you would like Young Justice I, more. Now I've started My Hero already. I think I'm like two episodes in. I feel Maybe like you would three. like Young Justice more. My hero has a learning curve because it's a mm. new show, so you got to learn everything. Whereas Young Justice, you know now, everything. I feel like you'd like you that more. Would you count Young Justice as an anime or just animation? No, no. Type of, okay. Well, anime... Because I feel like I'm more of an anime guy. Well, anime is more of a Japanese thing. Now, people so, very yeah. much did not like when people called Avatar The Last Airbender a um, Western anime. Anime? Yeah, because they were saying that was a Western anime, and it, yeah. I mean, in some senses, it is. It has the yeah. exaggerated facial expressions of an anime. It, has, it kind of I takes guess. across that kind of spirit of an anime in a lot of ways. Young kid goes out, does this spectacular thing. 
I guess. It takes the spirit of an anime, which I do not blame people for saying that. Can there be Western animes? Do they have, do they have to be Japanese in nature? I don't know the answer to that question um, because I'm just not ingrained in anime enough. Now, we have a similar situation inside of our space, Alex. Does a mm. Japanese role-playing game have to be made in Japan? No. Not in my opinion, but so like why, it always would do. So why would that same constraint be on an anime? I'm just bringing up That's true. That's interesting, true. interesting thoughts to think about. Because yeah. that is one thing that has not... That, that did not fly. People were like, that is not... We are not making Western... This is a cartoon. But when you call something a cartoon, it sounds... I wonder Kiddish if because nature. I wonder if with games because then it, it they would it can't be considered a JRPG because it's a Japanese RPG game. But if it's not made in Japan, what you would you call it? An a a RPG, an American RPG? Yeah, usually it's Western RPG. Western. Um, pe- okay. You would bring up Witcher Three. That's kind of an example of a Western RPG. Even do though they, it was, do they call even that though it as- was made in Europe? I know it was. I'm just saying. It's more West. I mean, still. But um. It's an interesting way to think about things because a Japanese role-playing game, when you think about that, is a game style, not necessarily where it is from. That's just what we use because that's how, I mean, Final Fantasy was a JRPG and the way to quickly say that to people was, oh, it's a Japanese role-playing game. It's it's like the ones we have, but it's different. It's turn-based, it's small pixel art, you have an overworld, you can kind of move around, you know. What if, like, what if, like, Western RPGs, like, somewhere in the U.S. or Europe or something, made their own, like, type of Persona game or type of Final Fantasy, like, some type of game, would you still call it a JRPG? Yes. Even if it has those Japanese elements? Mm -hmm. Well, even though it has the Western elements, is that what you're saying? No, no, like, 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 let's say somewhere in the United States, yep. we make a Persona type game. Like, you know, it's like, it's pretty much, it's straight up JRPG. Would you still call it a JRPG if it came from the US? Yes. Because yeah. JRPG is used as a defining term for the style of gameplay, not okay, where it yeah. originates from. <laughs> if it was where it originates from, then no, we, we couldn't do that because it's not from Japan. Yeah. But it has transformed into a gameplay style, not a mm-hmm. gameplay origin or anything of that nature. So, yeah. I, in my opinion, yeah, you definitely call it a JRPG because that's just, that's what it is. That's what it is, yeah. Yeah, yep, so yeah. We're going to call yeah. it, it's a, it's a American RPG. Get out of here. <laughs> Yeah, and not many people use it, but people try to use Western RPG in specifics mm. to like RPG light elements in games and things like that. So I, I you know, that's another like example of what you, what you could think about. Western RPG definitely has not been the, the term Western RPG. I feel like has not been, I guess, is I don't know if colloquial colloquial wise been brought into. Mm. Um, our shorthand that we have in this industry, I don't know. I don't think it has because I rarely hear it, but maybe mm-hmm. maybe one day we'll have a standard way of communicating because there are some things yeah. that are that are terms I mean, I, of use that people don't even know really. Like yeah. like people don't know what a roguelite is. Yeah, they just kind of say what it is. I mean, I be- I believe I'm playing a Western RPG at the moment. You definitely are. I would I would describe Horizon Zero Dawn definitely as a Western RPG. It is an RPG as RPG elements. It's an and open it's world. That's quests, yeah. No, I would, I no, would. no, 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 no. It's in the West. <laughs> God. On that note, Achievers, thank you so much <laughs> for listening to this week's episode of the Easy Achievers Game Podcast. <laughs> thank you for joining us. Remember, you can go to patreon.com slash Easy Achievers. You can give us a buck there. That helps us tremendously in running this whole show. One day, maybe we'll be able to do it full time. Remember, you can head over to youtube.com if you're not already on it. You can like, subscribe, share with a friend. That helps us tremendously with the algorithm. Remember, any sort of podcast service, you can five star review us now. Remember, Spotify also does that, and that serves us up a lot more when people search for things. Alex, thank you for joining me today. I am going to go play more Destiny slash Horizon. Don't know which one yet. Probably some more Horizon yep. to get ready for the show that's later today go over to video games utopia i believe is the actual youtube page that where players club will be at apologies emmett if that's wrong i'm pretty sure that's correct or spotify and things of that nature aside from that let's go play some video games and remember way ahead of you